Hello everybody, welcome back. I have a new video for you. I really hope you enjoy it. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog every day at kjaggers.com. That link is below. So today I am back with a food haul, a household haul. It's rather large. I have some of it here, I have some of it over there, and I have some of it on the table. So forgive my messy organizing skills today, you guys. Um, it's early and I've been at the store um, bright and early this morning. I don't have my menu here right in front of me, but I'll try to tell you what we're having as I get, you know, through each thing. Some things are rollovers because we ate out a lot last week. We didn't eat the pork barbecue yet. Um, we um, haven't had the roasted chicken. There's a few rollover meals and then I got stuff, you know, to go along. So one night I thought we would have like grilled chicken breast and another night I thought we would have sauce chicken soft tacos so I just got one of these really large pa packages of the Tyson um, all-natural chicken breast another night we're gonna have like ham and I didn't want to buy a big ham so I bought these Smithfield ham steaks I was just scared one might not be enough and so I got two and I think two is too much so maybe we'll use like one and a half and then I can use one for breakfast or something or half to for breakfast or something one night we're gonna have club sandwiches so I got some boar's head roast beef I've got some boar's head chicken the boar's head turkey and the boar's head honey ham so those um, lunch meats were you know a little bit expensive about $20 for all of them but they're for dinner one night so I thought it was worth spending a little bit more I got this flank steak, and I'm going to put that on the grill one night, hopefully if it doesn't rain. It seems to rain a lot in the evenings, and it's switching up what I'm cooking. Either I'm grilling in, or I'm grilling out, and the rain starts, and, you know, it just changes everything. But I got a flank steak in hopes that I can um, get that grilled out. I got some smoked sausage just to hang around the house. I got one package of ground round for pasta. I got another one. Um, gosh, I cannot remember. I think it's for um, hamburgers or something. So I got two packages of ground round. Those will go right in my freezer. I use more than a pound at our meals. I want some leftovers. My kids um, and my husband are, you know, growing. And one pound of meat in our family usually is not enough, um, you know, per meal, um, at least in ground round. Um, I think that's it for the meats. So let me just kind of start going through stuff. I got some of these frozen um, hash brown patties. Jackson loves these. I like them with sour cream, which is why I got some of the sour cream. The light sour cream has no difference in taste, so I go ahead and get that. I got some low-fat cottage cheese and some blueberries. They're really not to go with each other. The blueberries are to go in like a fruit salad or pancakes or whatever we want to use them for this week. I just got them and they look good. I got some more Eggo waffles. Jackson's still out of school for one more week. I should get some waffles made and get them in our freezer and start stocking up our freezer for the school year. But I took some help from the store this week and got some more um, Eggos. I got another big... Um, um, 18 count egg of the Eggland's Best. These are really good eggs and um, we've been going through a lot of eggs here lately so I just got a large one. Um, I got some more baby carrots for dinners or salad. I got a cucumber, an English cucumber for um, salads. Um, to go with um, our um, club sandwiches, I got some Boar's Head American Cheese. I would have had them do it for me but they would have had to put the, the the paper in between each and there was a long line and I didn't want to hold people up so I just bought that I got some Kobe Jack cheese this is the um, you know the snacks the, the pull apart we love those I got some more of the craft deli deluxe I love this because there's there is no little paper that comes out of those let's see on over here I got some Parmesan cheese so I went ahead and got some that's grated because I don't always want to grate it I got some strawberries I also got Scott and I some Brussels sprouts. We love those. I only got a small bag because Jackson's really not a fan. I got some kiwi that's been helping with my major sweet tooth. I got some tomatoes. And I got, oh, here it is. I got a um, yellow tomato too. And I think I'll put them on some bread and do like a bruschetta or something um, with those. 
I got some walnuts for my banana bread recipe, so um, I got those. I got some chicken salad that is pre-made from the deli. I also got some of Scott's palmetto cheese salad, so I got those just for convenience. It's the weekend, and it's morning, and I thought I would pick up the boys just four of these cinnamon rolls in case they want to have them for breakfast or something. Um, I don't really eat cinnamon rolls, but they do, and so I just picked up four. Um, for the night, we had the club sandwiches. I got some extra crispy um, Oneida golden crinkles. I got a bag of frozen corn and a bag of frozen peas. Two, oops, that's not good. Uh -oh, there we go. Two packages of butter. I got Scott some of his Moose Tracks ice cream, which he loves. I also got Scott some of his favorite Frappuccino Starbucks drinks in vanilla. Um, I'll just kind of walk around. I got some green beans just to have in the pantry. I got Jackson two of the SpaghettiO and meatballs. I got a iced coffee in mocha. We like these a lot. We don't get them every time, but we certainly like them. Scott makes really good iced coffee on his own, too. Got a, some sugar. I got some organic bread flour um, for my bread machine. I also got some Lucky Charms for Jackson. He already opened them up. Um, and got a handful out. Um, we got some more coffee. I got the big bag the last couple weeks. I got some milk. I got the organic milk. Still love that. It's It lasts longer than regular milk. I thought these sounded amazing, the Hershey S'mores. I guess I should have had breakfast before I went. And then, um, let's kind of go this way. I got some um, applesauce. This is just the Mott's applesauce. I know they make really good organic applesauces. I've tried a lot of them. I'm still a huge fan of just the original Mott's. I got some log cabin syrup because we were running low. I got some golden, um, what is it? Gold Peak Sweet Tea. We love that too. Um, I got some pasta sauce. This time I got the Delano tomato and basil to try out. I got a package of red grapes. Jackson um, loves the maple and brown sugar oatmeal. I do make my own, and I can make my own individual packs for a lot cheaper than these. But again, I don't mind a little bit of convenient food from the store. And I got another four cheese ravioli. We have one, but I wanted one more. I don't know if I'm going to bread these like I did or fry them like last time or just do a big, a big bake. My cats are making noise. If you can hear them. I got two of the linguinis. They're fresh pastas. Um, the bettini... Uh, Boltini, I think I said that right. So I just got them for a pasta meal one night. I got some more of my Brad's raw crunchy kale chips. Amazing. These are so good. And since, again, Jackson's out of school this week, I just picked him up a couple Lunchables so he would have some easy lunches. So that is um, what I got. Well, I still got a lot more food-wise, but that's the first island of food items that I got. And I don't think I forgot anything. I'll just do a quick scan so you can kind of see. Not exactly the healthiest, but not terribly bad either. Over here is some more stuff. So I got another one of our white wheat breads that we um, eat up. I thought these were really cute. I was going to make some bread to go with potato soup that I didn't make last week. I didn't feel good, you guys, last week. That's why there's not a what's cooking video. I'll share what I did make last week in next week's what's cooking video. I didn't cook a ton last week, and I didn't make the potato salad. But I thought these mini croissants would be perfect to go with it. And um, I got those. I also got this country white sourdough. I'm going to use half of it for... Um, the club sandwiches and the other half were like open faced for shedded bread or something. We keep using up our hamburger buns on different things around, you know, around um, different meals. And I got some more for that pork dinner that we plan on having one night. I got these carrot chips and the exotic harvest um, last time I think I went. They are freaking amazing. I love them. And the kibacha right here. Is my favorite chip of all of them. It's like a, it's like a Japanese pumpkin, and it's so good. So these um, are really good, and I got more. This is kind of like our cat and dog stuff. So I didn't buy either of these. It just sits here for cat treats and dog treats. Got Jackson some more Gatorade, and I got us some Mountain Dew. So that is in fact everything we got from the grocery store food wise. I think, um, and now I'll take you and show you the non food items.
In case I didn't mention it today, I went to my local Ingalls, and um, they're sometimes more expensive on this kind of stuff, but I didn't want to go to Walmart. I just wanted to go to Ingalls and get it all done in my store that's really closest to me. I got Cooper some of the Rachel Ray Nutrish um, dog food, and this one um, is not grain-free. He's back eating grain. No seizures, and we're really happy about that, so I went ahead and got him this. Speaking of the animals, I got two packages of paper plates. These are the small ones. My entire family feeds our cats on these paper plates. I don't uh, mind them. They go in the garbage. They can be recycled, and they're easy cleanup. So I got two packages for the cats and one just for, like, sandwiches or whatever around here for us of the larger ones. I don't spend a lot of money usually on paper plates because they do actually go into the garbage. Unless we're hosting, like, a barbecue or something, and then... Um, I definitely um, will buy some nicer ones. These came um, from Ingalls as well. And this is a cupcake, a Wilson cupcake decorating set. I thought it was super cute. I am going to be making some lavender and honey cupcakes. And I actually ordered the lavender buds off Amazon. I'm waiting on them to come in. And um, I decided to get this cupcake kit. I thought it was really cute. And maybe we can make some great design. It comes with four decorating tips. And eight disposable bags and my store actually sells lots of disposable bags so I get those anytime I want I thought these were cute I wanted something with purple in them for lavender but none of the none of them were purple so I just got these and I thought they were cute I'll probably send some into the dealership I also got these beautiful flowers I just wanted something um I I tend to try to buy fresh flowers once or twice a week, but my cats will eat them, and some of them are very poisonous, so I have to be real careful about what plants I buy and where I put them. I got myself some more deodorant, and this is just the clinical um, light and fresh. I got Scott a couple more razors. These are the Big Flex 5s. I got some Mr. Clean erasers. I just got the big pack, but the extra power. Um, again, I love these for bathtubs. I think they are phenomenal. I have spent tons of hours in my life cleaning big bathtubs. Nothing has made the job easier than the Magic Clean erasers. I also needed some razors. So I got the Gillette Venus Spa, and it has like the, um, what is it called? The shave gel bar on it. And this is super nice because you don't have to have anything else. You don't need shaving cream or soap, just the razor, and it does great in the shower. I got a big package of Advil. You don't see me buying Advil PM, though, do you? Scott has some dry feet, and I'm scared to death that he's got foot fungus or something, or athlete's foot. So I got him this Loterman, and then I got him the spray both, and that way, you know, I mean, I'm scared of getting something like that because if he's got something on his foot or, you know, some his athlete's foot or something like that, and he walks around on the carpet. I don't know if I can catch it, but I'm scared I am, so I just loaded him up with all kinds of stuff. I still think Cooper's coat could use a little bit of care. Sorry about that. So I got him this one. This is the um, anti -micro microbial shampoo, and it's a medicated shampoo, basically. So I got that for the dog. We'll see if it helps. Um, Scott needed some more face cleaner, so I got him the Clean and Clear um, Exfoliating Cleanser. I also got me the Pore Unclogging Scrub, so I got that for me. I also got some um, makeup wipes that I needed. Then back here, I got, th he had this, um, you know, I love the Method Soap, but I also love the Mrs. Myers. And the Lavender Scent is one of my favorites, and my store usually runs out really quick. They had one. Now, I still have about an inch of um, the soap in the current one we have. I have a brand new one that we got um, last time um, that I got from Target that I haven't even used yet. And then I got this one. So, I think I'm good on the soap for probably the rest of the month. I got another one of the Downy um, Fresh Protects in Wash Odor Shield. I love these. I love them. I love them. I love them. And I don't measure. So, I go through them really fast because I want my stuff to smell amazing. But Ingalls had a different flavor. This is Fresh Blossom. This one is Active Fresh. I haven't smelled this one yet, but I totally love this one, so I got one to try. I got two more of the Method um, Cleaners. This is the Method All Purpose, the purple one, and this is the glass. And then I got the Method Laundry Detergent. This is in Beach Sage. Last time I got the orange one, so um, I got some more um, of the laundry detergent. And then over here, 
I got some more Cascade because um, we're always using that. We needed a new toilet brush, and I like this one by Libbyman because it, it has the vents on the back so it won't get smelly or dirty or anything, and it hides it. So I got another one of those. I got the kitty cats some of their fancy piece medallies, and then I got them some of the Nutri the Rachel Ray Nutrish for cats, and they have never tried this. Hopefully they like it. If not, the outside cats will, and um, I know they like that one. So that is everything food-wise, household-wise. That is what I got this week. Um, today is Sunday, and this haul is going up today. So again, I'm sorry for no what's cooking video. I just didn't do that much cooking. We ate out last week. I didn't feel good a couple nights. So we ate leftovers and, you know, some nights were snacks and some nights was takeout. So there wasn't a ton to share and um, I'll be sure to share my um, what's cooking video next Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. If you enjoyed this haul, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to get subscribed so you don't miss any new videos. Videos. All my social media links are below. I would love it if you followed along on Facebook, on Instagram, just so you can get to know us better. You'll see more pictures and updates. And I should have a new day in the life vlog up tomorrow. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful and blessed weekend.